Um, what did you have to give up to actually do the things you accomplished? And I would love for you to talk here a little bit about what you actually made happen. Sure. Um, I, I actually accomplished a lot in a very short period of time, um, which still amazes me. Mm -hmm. But um, the things I accomplished while in the solo entrepreneur class is I had a logo designed for my business. Mm -hmm. I created business cards with the help of um, Sarah. I don't know how to say her last Ashmas, name. Sarah Ashmas, Ashmas. that's right. Um, she created my logo and my business cards, um, my Facebook banner. Um, mm -hmm. I created a Facebook business page. I created a website with the help of students. Mm -hmm. um, I actually tapped into a resource at school because I had no idea how to create a website and I didn't really have the money to invest in a professional to, to create it for me. So I had a student do it for a class project. Mm -hmm. And once she uh, created the, the backbone for it, I was able to go in and edit it and like tune it up. But I mean, wow, that was like, amazing to me that a student actually got to do a website and then watch it go live. That was pretty exciting for her too. Yeah. Um, I also um, did a keynote address um, in speaking with parents about communication with their teens. You I, a workshop. I designed a workshop, yes. Um, it's just, it needs to be kicked forward into motion. Yeah. Um, and I started talking about my business as if it was a legitimate business. That you know, I'm no longer hiding it in the shadows of, oh, here's this thing I kind of want to do, but I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? Yes. So I started actually talking to people about it. I did some target market interviews, which actually put the idea out there. And it allowed me to fine tune some of my ideas. And then I found out real quickly that doing these target market interviews with both teachers and administrators and a few parents, um, that my work is definitely wanted and needed. You know, that's what the overall message I got, that it's wanted and needed and practical and people want to see it. So that was really um, validating for me that I'm on the right path and I'm doing the right thing that I should keep moving forward. The thing I needed to let go of in order to make all of this happen is my need to do everything, yes. to manage every little detail of my life, my children's lives. And so really early on, I had to tell my kids, I need your support. And this is how you're going to give it to me. <laughs> it's funny because the very first uh, item I invested money in was a laptop computer. I didn't have a computer at home. Mm -hmm. And I was sweating bullets buying this computer, like literally sweating as I'm like putting the money down to buy it. And then once I walked out of the store, I said, now I'm in business. Like it was just that simple. Like now I'm in business. Yes. Um, and from that point on, yeah, I was investing money, but each time I invested money, whether it was professional headshots mm -hmm. or business cards or a logo or for coaching, I was like, All right, these are tools you need for business. If you want to accomplish this thing you say that's important to you, you've got to put in not only time, but you've got to invest some money in it too. Yes. That's what kind of makes it real. So what do you wish you had known um, or wish you had believed as you, um, as you went through the process and now that you're on the other side and you're kind of in a different space and you see yourself as a different person, you see yourself as a solopreneur, you see yourself as a thought leader, you see potential that you couldn't have seen five months ago. Um, what's one thing that you wished you had believed then that you believe now about yourself? That my ideas are valuable. Mm -hmm. that I, I have um, value and that um, they deserve to be out in the world and they need to be out in the world. Yeah. So it's going to, I believe it's going there. My ideas can heal the world. I didn't think my ideas were not only special, but I didn't think, I thought every idea I had had to be original. Yes. You know, that I had to create all this crazy content and it all had to be original. And I realized Pretty early on, well, not really, really early on, but I realized through interacting with you and other entrepreneurs that we're always borrowing each other's shit. Yes. And that there is no necessarily original thought. We just put our own spin on it. And so I, whatever I do is going to have, you know, Trisha Kaya's flavor That's to right. it. And it's my special sauce. And um, yeah, so it's okay. What advice would you give other creatives 
whose ideas remain stuck in their head? Because I talked to a lot of women who were where you were before. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give these women if you could? Take a step forward. Take a step forward and don't worry about the how. Mm -hmm. Just move forward. Um, the house will be answered along your way. And people will come into your space because you decided to move forward. People you didn't even know will come into your space and offer you a hand to bring you through those dark times. Um, they always show up. So just believe that it's possible and take a step and then take another and another. They don't have to be big steps, but all of those little steps will you know, hopefully lead you to your 100% at some point. Yeah. And I, I'm still not there yet, that's for sure. But I'm keeping moving forward. Um, and for me, moving forward always means I have to have support team around me. And it's especially for me, that means I have to hire a coach. Mm -hmm. And that is you. <laughs> I'm very blessed and honored to have you. 